Are you prepared for the upcoming breaking changes coming to Solana? So the Solana Agave version 2.0 update will be coming to the Solana mainnet beta by the end of September or the beginning of October. It's already live on DevNet and Testnet. So let's see how we can get prepared or how we can be better prepared to handle this update. So without any ado, let's jump into it. The three main changes coming with the Agave update and they are already live on DevNet and Testnet. So the first one being renamed crates. The second one will be some removed validator arguments. And the third one will be some removed RPC endpoints or methods. So if you look at the renamed crates, they are as follows. So the ones which you see on left in red will be renamed with the ones which you see on right in green. And talking about the removed validator arguments, they look like these. So the following validator arguments will be removed from the validator code and even the Solana client, Solana validator will be replaced with Agave client. But you as a Quicknode user do not have to worry about these. These will be taken care by us on the backend. The ones which you need to worry about or you need to take care about are the removed RPC endpoints and SDK elements. So the ones which you see on the left hand side in red will be deprecated and the ones which you see on the right hand side should be used in place of the ones on left. So these replacement calls are already live. So make sure to update your code as soon as possible with the new ones before the update goes live on the mainnet. But it's already live on DevNet. So be careful about that. Just for example, the get confirmed block method will be deprecated. And instead of that, you should be using get block method. And just like that, the get recent block hash method will be deprecated. And instead of that, you should be using get latest block hash method. You can find the list of all of the deprecated methods along with the replacement methods linked to their latest documentation in the guide linked below. And in the same guide, you will also find a example of how you can update your confirmed transaction code with get signature statuses. In this example, what you will see is that we are using get signature statuses. And what we are doing is basically we are polling the chain with that particular method after a set number of intervals. And we also have a timeout set. So once the transaction is finalized, we will get the output. Or if the timeout reaches faster, the script will stop, whichever is faster. And again, all of the replacement methods for the deprecated methods are already live. So if you have or your app has any of the deprecated methods, make sure to update them with these new replacement methods. And we will be constantly monitoring any update from the Solana Foundation or the Anza team and keep you all updated. So make sure to follow us on Twitter and join our Discord. And apart from that, if you have any queries or questions, feel free to leave a comment, send us a DM on Twitter, or you can even ask it on our Discord. Thank you, everyone.